So here's the crude ethyl acetate that I separated from the nail polish remover and I'm going to distill it and I'm going to measure out the starting amount and then I'll show the setup. So I have around 175 milliliters. So here's the setup. It's a very simple distillation. Here's the glass container with the crude ethyl acetate. This is food grade uh, silicone tubing from a brewery. You want this to be as tight as possible for there to be minimal leakage of the solvent once it's heated. There will be some uh, some losses but you can put a silicone silicone around the the necks I don't have any more silicone tubing so since they all dried out but you can just push it in a bit and it'll stay pretty airtight and then I'm going to put a oil bath since the bottom is concave and it's not a flat surface it'll take a while to heat up so I'm going to do an oil bath I don't want this to be a, roi a rolling boil just around 77 degrees Celsius I have a digital thermometer which I'll be using you'll see it heat up It'll go through the cooling, just a simple U-turn, and then into a clean vessel. It has some water, but I'm not worried about that since I'm not worried about the water content. So the next time I'll do this, I'll keep it at a lower heat, I'll keep it at 1, since initially there was a lot of bubbling and overheating, but now it's gotten, gotten down. The distillate stopped coming over at a fast rate, so I'm going to stop this just to prevent excess impurities from coming over. The Distillate comes over pretty fast. It, it pulls a little bit in the front and then it cools down and comes over. And here is the very transparent, clean ethyl acetate. The purity should be quite high, and you can see the and taking out there's an off yellow color and it's from the impurities that are in the that were in the nail polish remover so if I wanted to I could double distill this which I may do and keep it at a lower a lower starting temperature and if I wanted I could save this and add it to the following distillation of the of any nail polish remover that I do in the future but I'm going to discard that I'll let this cool I'll discard that I can save the oil since I can always reuse that 
as many times as I want. And now I have a fairly cheap and easily obtainable ethylacetate, which for some people they have troubles buying it or getting it at a high purity. So I could have done this directly from the nail polish remover. I could have distilled it first and then salted out the alcohol and then salted it out three times to remove the alcohol from the ethyl acetate and then baking soda to neutralize any acids. Here I could I just I would just need to add a, a baking soda solution if I thought there was any vinegar or anything that formed I don't think so so here I'll just cover this and store it but you should always add a baking soda to neutralize any acids in your ethyl acetate so the smell during the distillation was actually much much less than an actual silo extraction in my experience the tubing as it as the silicone heated it actually expanded in the center and it did a good job at sealing and preventing uh, gas leakage the second one was so that the tubing was better equipped you can see there's a small discoloration from uh, the impurities as well as a general breakdown. This isn't a uh, permanent solution. Glassware would work indefinitely. This has a limited lifespan. I'm sure it will run for quite a long time without any issues, but this is not a permanent setup but for a hobbyist chemist or hobbyist uh, person that needs ethyl acetate, this is a good solution. It's one tenth the price to set up. A glassware here is around $300, if not a little more for a distillation glass setup. And this all cost me around let's see the the tubing was around seven dollars with shipping even less I actually have two tubings but it was let's say seven dollars and then the glasses I got for free since I already I repurposed them the oil I already have everything set up really only cost me the tubing and the nail polish remover and then for salts and everything but yeah these actual setup only cost me maybe five or seven dollars depending on what you get but you want to notice the thickness of the tubings and you want to make sure it's uh, food safe just so that any possible uh, things that come over from the breakdown of the silicone will not contaminate the ethyl acetate that you receive over. The icing, again, everyone has this but you can get it for fairly cheap. And now I'll just pour over any leftover. Ice is free. So yeah just sharing my very simple distillation which anyone can do you can do this again for purifying a crude ethyl acetate from a nail polish remover or even to clean up your ethyl acetate that you had from a few extractions it tends to get uh, coloring and a few salt impurities so after let's say 10 runs or 20 runs you can always distill it and have a very clear ethyl acetate and again always use proper 
safety, you want lots of ventilation, you don't want to grab everything with your hands, this is actually really hot. And just use common sense, no open flames, well ventilated, and yeah. From a store bought nail polish remover that has zero acetone to a pure ethyl acetate. I'll try to weigh this to see how close it is to the density of the pure ethyl acetate. Just one side note, remember how in the beginning I showed it bubbling? The heat was at five. You want it start you just keep it at the lowest heat possible since the oil bath will get quite warm. It'll prevent the bubbling and possibly bring over excessive impurities. So here I had quite a big loss in the ethyl acetate. It was most likely from the very high starting boiling temperature that you can see in the video. Most likely some of the vapor escaped before condensing. But in any case, you can see how clear the distillate is. And here is what remained in the original vessel. And again, even here, the there's probably still some impurities because I did a, a high a high boiling point initially but I'll be testing the weight now for the density and I'm sure it'll be much closer to the pure ethyl acetate again this is just a demonstration you should like I mentioned keep it at the lowest uh, settings for your heat and let it slowly boil over and here's the measurement for the density I separated out five milliliters and it's around 4.44 and I'll compare it to the density of a pure ethyl acetate 